Well, welcome to the centre where I'm joined by the match referee, former South African all-rounder Mike Proctor, and of course the two captains, Saraf Ganguly of India and Waka Yunus of Pakistan. Saraf Ganguly will toss the coin, a specially minted coin. Tails is the call, and it's a tail. Waka Yunus, you've won the toss, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to bat on this, it looks a very good track and uh, hopefully we're going to put some runs on the board this time. He looks pretty much like the sort of pitch you'd find at home, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it, but uh, probably a bit more bounced than, uh, than normal. And, uh, and uh, we hope, hopefully we're going to find some form this time. Huge game for both of you guys. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, it's a do and die game for us. Uh, if we qualify, we'll go through. And uh, changes from your team last time out? We got two changes from the last game. We have uh, Yunus Khan come back by Salim, Salim Ilahi. And then we got... Uh, uh, well, what we got? Doesn't matter. You can find out later. Okay, I'll look at the sheet when I see it. Yeah. Play well. Good luck. Thanks very much. Seraph, is that a toss that you would really have liked to win, or do you feel this pitch will last all day anyway? It'll last all day anyway, but uh, it'll do a bit early. Uh, we played against Australia on a, probably a more dry pitch, and it didn't come onto the bat. It just crept a bit. Uh, it's going to do a bit early. Do you think it'll turn? Not really. I don't think so. It'll turn, but uh, it'll do a bit early. It would seem that uh, every time you two countries meet, it's always a big game. It doesn't matter where it is in the world. And it sounds as if you've got a lot of support in the ground today. Yeah, it looks we've got a lot of support. Uh, the Indians turn up everywhere, everywhere we travel, which is great to see. It's a big game, uh, but uh, we're well placed in, this, in the group. But we still want to win this. Team changes from last time out. We got Anil Kumle in place of Harbhajan Singh. That's, that's the only change. OK, spinner for spinner then. Yeah. Good luck, play well. Thanks, thanks. So that's the news then from the middle. Pakistan have won the toss on a very good looking batting strip and they've elected to do just that, bat. Oh, here come the left arm, fast medium ball, 24 years of age, will be starting things from the West Line end. And in his career, 93 wickets. Plays the call from the umpire. No ball, Pakistan off the mark. As I say, good day to Sanjay Mandraka. Anil Kumble hasn't had a great deal to do in this World Cup. Once again, a no ball. Nice drive. That's a solid blow. And uh, that'll be first four for Pakistan. Courtesy Tafi Kuma. Crashing shot. That was hit uh, with massive power. Good timing. Late cut. Oh, amazing shot. That's gone away. What a shot from Saeed Anbar. He really played that one extremely late and Ashish Nehra is bamboozled. To play nice and straight. That's a good shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Bad on ball. Good timing. The outfield is just a little bit on the slow side. It's going to make it though. Important boundary, that one. Beautifully played once again. Hitting the ball in the up and getting the ball in the right area. Beautiful start from these openers. Got it. What a good delivery. Too late to Fikuma has had his timber disturbed. That is a huge wicket. That's the first one down. And the Indian supporters and the players obviously are ecstatic. Well, for the first time, these Indians, they are back into this game. It was all the matter of pitching the ball in the right areas. And on that occasion, Tofi Kumar was hoping that the ball is going to swing away. But it came back, surprised Tofi Kumar, and the Indian baller Zaheer Khan has broken through. Tofi Kumar, after contributing 22 runs, on the way back. Short ball, he's gone for it, and he's hit it beautifully. That is a very, very good shot. Just the one bouncing over the rope. Gee, he picked that up quickly. Shot. Great shot. Very, very well played by Saeed Umar. Slightly overpitched that time, and it got the treatment. Good stroke. Square of the wicket. Excellent shot from Abdul Razak. Good shot. That'll run away for four. Excellent stroke. And irritating for the bowler because it was the last ball of the over. 80 for one. Yes, and that's a brilliant catch. Out of the blue, Rahul Dravid has taken a stunner. 
Ashish Nehra picks up the second wicket. Abdul Razak, having played for a long time, he was looking to improvise. He was looking to play the ball fine towards the third man. But Rahul Robert glove came into the way. Huge breakthrough for the Indians. Gone over the top, first ball that is faced. One bounce and then trickles onto the boundary rope. You said about his walk, Amir, the way he walked in today. Just looks different in Zimam. We are coming into this innings, almost an embarrassing record. Just the 10 runs in the four innings. Oh, there could be a run out here. Good throw and he's gone. He's gone. The finger goes up. And yet again, we see in Zimam ul -Haq being run out. Saidan were playing the ball. He was on the move. And in Zamamul Haq calling for a run, that was his call. And Saidan were not responding. Huge wicket for the Indians. That should be four. Hit well enough. And that will bring up Saidan was 50. He's been quite superb this morning. that has pierced the narrowest of gaps on the offside. Said Anwar continues his uh, well, golden run. He's moved on to 62. Squeezed it away. There is a sweep up. That is uh, the shorter of the two boundaries in that region. And just a slight fumble. They come back for two. That's really good running. That is great running. Said Anwar just spotted the fumble and zipped back. To a played nice and fine. Third man has got some work to do. He's not going to get there. That is very well played. And Okumbla it was. He couldn't get across. But a fine shot to finish the over. Get things back on track for Pakistan. This is soon enough. Beautiful shot. But out. Clipped off his pads. And just as uh, Ramis and I were talking about the importance of Yusuf Johanna staying out there. He's chipped one. Straight down deep square leg throat. No ball. Has that got off his helmet? We saw Salwan hit badly. He's given a bye. There it is. His 20th one day international century. And I guess if you're going to get 100. Get 100 against India in an atmosphere such as this. What an outstanding innings. Ball him. Clean him up. Lovely Yorker from Ashish Nehra. Indians were looking for a breakthrough and they've got it in the 40th over. And the Indian flags are out. And moment to enjoy. Shahid Afridi, 23 years old today. Well, he's had a bit of luck, but he's got four for it. And I guess that's all that matters. 200 comes up. Way here we go. Takes him on straight away. He will not let him bowl to it. Just a little surprising to see Dinesh Mongia coming uh, at the deaf end. Indians obviously uh, short on options. In the zone for uh, Shahid Afridi, though he didn't mid middle it to his liking but still had enough to go to the boundary away from uh, the man in the deep made room to get that arm swinging here we go but it's gone up too high it hasn't got the distance on it there's two under it and safely caught brave but clever and more importantly successful that's well played Deft touch will give Yunus Khan the boundary. That's a good hit, a lovely hit inside out. One bounce over the rope, and a nice way to end the over for Rashid Latif. Rashid Latif has eyed up the gap towards extra cover. He's gone after the bowler in that particular region. Four runs. That's a very good stroke from Rashid Latif, backing away towards the leg stump and picking up a boundary. Looks like he's going to play his stroke on the leg side. He was shaping for that. The ball wasn't delivered. 
Yes, it's a cat and mouse game at the moment, isn't it? Uh, it's a lot of guesswork. I mentioned earlier, the batsman likes to pick his spot even before the bowlers bowl. The bales. <laughs> In fact, the ball has slipped from his hand and hit the bales. <laughs> that took Latif by surprise. It hit the wrong side of the stumps. No, the question to be asked is if the batsman is backing up, if the non-striker is backing up. Goes for the big one. Dinesh Mungia coming underneath it. And uh, he takes it comfortably. So in the quest of trying to get some quick runs, Yunus Khan has been dismissed when the catch was taken. Lucky from strike. Oh, oh he's pinned him. That is a nasty delivery. He's up on his feet. But you can see what happened there. He was backing away. And Zahir Khan followed him. Excellent bowling from Zahir Khan. Not many fast bowlers that would like to bowl a bouncer in the depth of the innings. Because if the ball doesn't bounce, it can come into the swing of the batsman. That was a very quick delivery from Zahir Khan. And a perfect yorker, but a no ball. Well, Akram was walking till he saw Empire Shepherd. Lucky break for Vaseem Akram and also for Pakistan. Pakistan requires some quick runs from Vaseem Akram, clearly overstepping. Perfect delivery in, in the depth of the innings. 36 runs is a good effort. And a good effort in the field as well. Commitment total from Zahir Khan. That's well played. Powerfully struck. Beats the man at deep point. Just what Pakistan wanted this stage. Akram getting the boundary. For the final ball of the Pakistan innings. And again, beautifully placed. And this is a terrific finish for Pakistan. Consecutive boundaries will take them to 273. And that is a score they'll settle for after winning the toss and deciding to bat first. So very happy Saeed Anwar. He played really well today. Welcome return of form in a big game, in a pressure match. 101 from just 126 balls in the end. Pakistan after 50 overs, a good score of 273 for seven. So that's the target. 274 runs required by India. There are 50 overs available to get it, and the required run rate just under five and a half runs per over. And the great Wazim Akram is about uh, to start proceedings from the West Line end. And a little bit of swing coming back in towards Sachin Tendorka. He'll be the key wicket, of course. Wazim Akram has an outstanding career, picked up his 500th one day international uh, wicket in this tournament. Tendulkar on his way, in spanking fashion. It wasn't all that bad a delivery, but the timing was exquisite. Gets that away. It's gone away fine and into the boundary. Nine of the first over. India nine for no loss at the moment. Fastest bowler in the world, but if you don't get it right against a top player, You'll get tap. Now, what will be the reply? Superb shot. This is tremendous batting already. A six to start off the over, and now a lovely wristy flick to get the boundary. Oh, great timing. That was just a gentle push. And what an over for India. A master class there from Tendulkar. That's another six. Short wide. This time it's Seba with the uppercut. And boy, this ball has gone a long way. You don't see sixes in that direction. But have a look at this. Well, this is incredible hitting. 
Once again, the width was provided, and uh, although he had his uh, one palm out of that bat, but it sailed away. First delivery of Akayunas. There you see the hands coming off the handle. It didn't matter. Turned away on the onside. This outfield is picking up. A boundary to end the over. Oh, good shot. That's a misfield. Yunus Khan, the fielder. That's something Pakistan can ill afford at the start. And there's a flurry of boundaries at the moment. Oh, that's glorious. That's been struck with tremendous power. Before one could say Jack Robinson, the ball was through. It's 50 for no loss. In the air, taken. Wakar Yunus getting the ball pitched up. Seva going on the drive, hitting it up Ishli. Afridi making no mistake. Surinda, Se Verinda Seva, very much in mold of Sachin Tendulkar and like him, just a little casual at times in that area. Spot on, Shahid Afridi taking a neat catch. That's wrapped on the pads. That is close. He's a dead duck. That is always going to be out. Caught on the crease. A double break here for Pakistan. And they're right back in it. And it came back, it held its line and spot on. Excellent bowling. He had put a doubt in the batsman mind, batsman's mind by having that third slip in place. Wonderful bowling. Mohamed Khaif comes out on a hat-trick. Two wickets and two balls for the Pakistan captain. The last man to be dismissed, Saurav Ganguly, first ball. And really, if you're on the outskirts of Pretoria or even in Johannesburg, get to the Centurion, this is a happening place. Very good over. Just three runs of it. Two wickets. That's important from Pakistan's point of view. That's 53 for two. On the ground. Quality stroke. Quality stroke. Great effort, but it's gone for four. The tenth over. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness me. Beautiful. Time to say I'm um, in a sling. Another exquisite stroke from Tendulka. 88 for two. Beautiful shot from Kaif this time. Shayev trying to go full. Kaif up to it. And it continues. That'll run away for four as well. Only just, but it will. And so it goes on, 98 for two. And again, glorious stroke again. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Over pitch by Waka Yunus, and it goes straight back past him for four. Straight back past the bowler for four. No ball as well, so that'll be five runs. Great shot again from Tim Dorka. What a treat this is to watch. There is no stopping quickly across. And uh, that boundary also gets him his 12,000th one-day international run. Would you believe it? Incredible. Average of 44. Strike rate of 86. Well, he has uh, split his finger there and uh, quite badly. Reading quite badly. Back at him. It's just a fairly ordinary looking incident, wasn't it? Just looking to collect the ball. He's not reacted yet. It's walking back. It's extraordinary. He didn't react straight away, which is uh, good. It, it, it indicates that he's not in pain because normally speaking, you'd start wringing your hands if it hurt. So he doesn't even know he's bleeding at, at the stage that he starts to walk back. And then he maybe just noticed, hang on, I'm bleeding here. Hasn't gone in cleanly, hit him on the end of the finger. But it is his bowling hand, and uh, 
if you haven't got good feeling in your index finger with which you hold the ball, you've got a problem. 273 is always going to be a competitive score, unless you bowl long ups like that and get it for four. Yes! Bowl him out, inside edge, I think, but the breakthrough Pakistan needed now. Can they capitalise on that? Wacker Yunus calling the men in. As Mohamed Kaif makes his way to the pavilion. It's a good shot. It's a great shot. It's picked the gap through extra cover for four. Stand and deliver. Virinder Sehwag running for him. He's on 98. 98 not out, Tendulkar. Short ball, quick ball, might be out. Is out. Shah Bakhtar has come back into the attack. The first ball that Tendulkar has faced when he's got a runner, he's been dismissed. Shah Bakhtar, that was a very, very quick delivery. Just under 150 k's per hour. Took him by surprise, and he's on his way back. What, the, what an end, what a dramatic end to a magnificent knock from Sachin Tendulkar. The Tendulkar hobbles away. One of the greater innings that you'll see in one-day cricket. 98 of 75 balls, and India 177 for four. Going around the wicket at pace. That's what played. That's a very, very good shot. That's not a bad way to get off the mark. Four runs to get these going for Yuvraj Singh. Seven runs off the over, but the important wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. 181 for four. That's driven handsomely through the offside. Yuvraj doesn't bother to run. And that's a trademark cover drive from the left-hander. That's in the air. He gets some bat on it. And this will race away to the boundary. That's a poor delivery from Shahid Afridi. Nice try. Well, he's a sweet timer of the ball, Yorad Singh. And he'll enjoy this from Shahid Afridi. And final over. That is a fine strike. Just eased it through the covers for four. Very, very well played. And the flags are flying all over the show. And also the boundaries. Kai Yunus was able to bring the Pakistani team back into the game. That's a beautiful stroke. Only four runs required now to win this game. And he's only one run away from his 50, Yuvraj Singh. Maintaining that proud record in the World Cup. And of course, helping their chances enormously in this World Cup. That'll be called a wide. A bit of tightness now creeping in to uh, Baka Yunus and also maybe Rudy Kutzen. There's the 50. Single to bring up his 50. Yuvraj Singh can be very, very proud of this knock. Two more required now. Rahul Dravid on strike. He's on 40. The partnership's worth 95. Short ball. Has he put it away? Yes, he has. That's it. India have done it. A boundary to finish things. The crowd here at Supersport Park, Centurion are going absolutely berserk. What a terrific performance by India. Rahul Dravid, a very sensible knock from him. Sarav Ganguly is getting all the accolades off the field. And interaction from the players, Pakistanis, big smiles and shaking the hands of Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh. The end of what has been a classic encounter. It's been a terrific game of cricket. And India win by six wickets.